Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a really simple yet effective recipe that you can add to your regimen for thicker hair, longer, healthier, and faster high growth. So if you are interested, you definitely want to make sure that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the ingredients and also all of the steps in order to make this. So definitely make sure that you stick around. Now, if you're new here, I'm Vanessa. I make lots of DIY recipes to help us grow and maintain healthy looking hair. So if this kind of content interests you, I would really appreciate it if you could join us by just clicking that subscribe button. Now let's hop right into the video. The first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some brown flax seeds. I got this from, I think it was Amazon, but you can find it on eBay as well, or even in the, the um, sort of seeds aisle in your grocery store so do feel free to check that out so for this i will be using half a cup of flax seeds uh, but feel free to alter these quantities guys based on your preference now flax seeds are super super amazing when it comes to uh, thickening the hair increasing its volume preventing hair loss and also giving us nice strong shiny looking hair because it's quite high in protein so essentially you just want to pop this in your pan and then we're going to go in with our next ingredient which will be some star anise seeds so this i got in my engine store uh, where i live uh, but again, I'm pretty sure you can easily find it in most grocery stores if, if they sell like, um, you know, um, oriental stuff or like, you know, continental stuff. I'm pretty sure you will definitely be able to find this. So I'm adding four of those. Now I'm going to go in with some moringa leaves. If you have moringa powder, it's also absolutely fine to use as a substitute. Um, but I had the leaves so it would do for this recipe so again I'm using about half a cup of moringa leaves and moringa literally is a powerhouse of nutrients for our hair so it's full of vitamins antioxidants and all of that good stuff that helps to stimulate hair growth and also help to minimize hair loss so super super amazing so for this I'm adding three cups of water but again like I said guys vary this based on your preference so once you've added the water pop it on the stove allow it to boil for a few minutes until the liquid starts to thicken a little bit make sure that you stay there guys because this will boil over and essentially just pour on your stove and you don't want that so make sure you're like there to check occasionally and stir in between so after that has boiled for a little bit this is what it looks like so i'm going to go ahead and strain it while it's still hot it just makes the process so much easier because once this cools down it will become a gel just like you will later on see down the video now it's, it's a little bit more difficult to strain a gel essentially but when it's in its liquid form it's so much easier to strain so just pour it on your wig cap and just add Allow it to basically just drain and then that's it now you can let this cool down and then we're going to go ahead with our next ingredients So this is what it looks like after it has cooled down. You can see it's pretty much jelly in consistency. Um, so we're now gonna go ahead and add our next ingredient. So I will be using some honey. Honey is a natural humectant. So all that means is it literally draws the moisture from the atmosphere into your hair. So it's really, really amazing when it comes to uh, moisture. So I'm adding one teaspoon of this, but again, add a little bit more if you want to. So so after that guys we're now going to go in with some Jamaican black castor oil but it's okay to use any other oil of choice but I'll suggest you stick to this particular one just because castor oil helps a lot with thickening the hair and also um, preventing hair breakage and loss in general so it's super super amazing so I added about one teaspoon of that as well if you don't have Jamaican black castor oil it's okay to use um, 
olive oil or coconut oil or any other oil of your choice i think with coconut oil though you have to melt the oil because otherwise it's going to give you clumps in in this so go ahead and mix it all well until everything is nice and combined and then that's it you've got your amazing dip conditioning treatment or should i call it a treatment i don't even know but you've got this that can help you a lot with thickening your hair um super super amazing so i'm just popping this into a mason jar so that it's easier for me to use and then that's it it is pretty nice and simple and easy and quick to make um, so I do hope that you guys go ahead and try this out and if you do don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below What you think of it essentially so stick with me guys I'm going to show you how you can use this and talk a little bit more about how often you should be using this as well To help you with like I said thickening your hair and also helping grow your hair a lot faster so definitely make sure that you stick around so the way i will be using this essentially will be as a um, treatment um it could be used as a people treatment so one you do before you shampoo your hair it could be used perhaps as a regular treatment that you do throughout the week um or every other week just to help with moisture and essentially hair growth in general so what in whatever case you choose to use the method in which you use it is exactly the same so essentially you just want to work this through your hair um so my hair at the moment is kind of twisted but dry um so i'm just going to undo every single one of these twists and then work this through from my scalp all the way to the ends of my hair make sure that you cover every single strand um you know just to make sure that you know they all get treated now it's important that you apply this to your scalp because it's so amazing that um this will also help you sort of reduce dandruff if you do suffer from dry scalp so super super amazing for scalp health as well and also our hair grows out from our scalp guys so you want to stimulate those follicles by applying this directly to the scalp as well and also you're going to go ahead and rinse this off anyway so you shouldn't be worried about you know scalp build up or anything like that because it doesn't really leave um, any build up once it's rinsed off your hair so essentially um, work that through and then I'm going to do like a little twist and then do a bantu knot so that my hair doesn't dry out as I work on the next section and I'm just going to repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done now in case you're wondering how often you should be using this it clearly just depends on what you're using it for so if it is that you're using it as a people treatment I would imagine it would be perhaps every three to four weeks or five weeks depending on how often it is that you wash your hair um, so essentially it just consists of applying this just like I'm doing here and then putting a heat cap on allow heat to you know penetrate the hair all of that good stuff and then you can go ahead and rinse this off your hair and then shampoo your hair afterwards um but obviously if you're using it as um treatment just like i'm doing here i'm not going to go ahead and shampoo my hair after this so i will just leave this in and then go ahead and just rinse it off with warm water and then proceed to seal the moisture and style my hair as I would normally for the week. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Now, I've been getting quite a few questions when it comes to treatments um, from people perhaps who have conros or braids in and they're wondering whether they can still use these treatments while their hair is protected. Um, I would say yes, it's absolutely fine to use it while your hair is in conros or braids. Um, but it's always better if the hair is out because essentially you are making sure that you know every single bit of your hair is covered and all of that good stuff it's easier to apply essentially um but yeah it could also be applied to braided uh, braided hair conroed hair 
um, and you will still get the same results essentially so don't worry if you have your protective style in still leave that in and just use it the same way so I just went ahead and I took out all of the twists that I did um, just because I really wanted to wash my hair properly you know because sometimes what I realize is when I wash my hair in twists it's sometimes very difficult to get everything out and the thing with flaxseed gel is that it leaves a bit of flakes in my hair so I really wanted to make sure that I've got everything out um, so that's why I took them out and I just love how you know my curls are looking right now like my hair is super super nice and bouncy moisturized all of that good stuff I was actually thinking maybe I could just allow this to dry and have it as a twist out you know but <laughs> obviously I'm gonna end up with so much flakes so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair out and when you wash this out guys your hair is super shiny super voluminous um, yeah and it's so easy to detangle as well it's just it's just amazing Make sure you go ahead and give this a go and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it. So this is it for me today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave me a comment down below. I'll read them all and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.